I'm about to do a business meeting with a TikToker. His name is Zach Hayes. Please follow him at Zach Hayes one on TikTok, and I'll put his link and username down in the description. I think he posts great TikTok videos. We're gonna talk about how we can push for our goals so we can make our dreams into a reality. I think it's amazing. 2021 is a great year, a great year for the social media influencers. Yes, we are going to talk about how we're gonna do it. We're gonna give out the potential strategies to each other and really kill it. Just work hard, hustle, so we can work smart and then we can thrive up. That's all, baby. So yeah, I will let you know how the business meeting goes. The meeting went super well. I was discussing about how Zach can grow big on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Those four great platforms, how he can utilize those platforms together, build bridges, and eventually thrive and reach out to many new viewers. I even took the time to write my New Year's resolution and specific finance goals as well. And a lot of it has to do with me ditching parties, ditching unnecessary restaurant meals, unnecessary Starbucks coffee orders, you know, unnecessary Starbucks coffee orders, you know. I'm pretty, pretty happy that I'm moving forward and having a great start to 2021. Ride along with me. Obviously, I am making a post for my Instagram page at Charisma Karma, right? And again, it's a charisma tips, life tips, artistic charisma tips, however you want to call it. I didn't want to show the rest because I'd much rather encourage you guys to check it out for yourselves on Instagram, but basically what I've been doing is been doing a lot of those content, been sharing my life experience on how I influence people and I just want to share it around to people to inspire them to make a difference in the world, you know, because I'm only one person in seven billion. But imagine how much the impact will be if it spreads, you know what I mean? It's not that I've been working super hard in the new year just because it's a new year I want to work super hard. It just it happens to be that I need to work hard because I end up getting so busy. But don't worry, I'll keep in touch with you all throughout this whole year. It's just that the first few weeks will be a little bit busy, which arguably can be a good thing because, hey, you're going to start out strong and you'll end strong. But when you end strong, make sure it's better than how you begin. A fun note, I did treat it myself well. Not only I bought myself a Christmas present, I also got myself some New Year's presents. So I got a new Adidas socks. I still haven't worn it yet, but will in the future. And I got some long sweatpants. I'm about to go out for a run, so let me try this on. So, hey, these pants are pretty cool. They're pretty cool. I love these pants. They're comfortable. I can still run comfortably in them, so yeah. All right, I'm gonna go out for a run. It's a little dark outside, so probably won't take the camera with me and probably won't be convenient anyways. Catch you around there. Okay, so some of you guys have already written your New Year's resolution to complete by 2022. Awesome, great. Writing goals is so important. And also, because it's January, the second semester of online school is coming up. Some may have it sooner than others, depending on the state or district that you live in. So there's something I want to tell you with this. Based off my years of experience, whenever I do write a New Year's resolution, I have a hard time getting it done because of school. Because maybe my resolutions are very ambitious, that probably need more time or that it just takes a certain mindset that school doesn't help me develop. And this is the problem with school, regardless if it's online or present, is that, is that it doesn't give you that millionaire mindset to be victorious. It always tells you to be a survivor, but never a thriver. That's why I wanna distance myself from such a toxic environment with toxic people. Yes, it's true. The people that you surround yourself with does influence your mindset, whether you like it or not let alone you're being in an online class where you're gonna have to work with people that you may not like and doing assignments that you may not want to do and it'll end up taking up time to complete your dreams. If you know your purpose and how it will lead you to success, then you gotta be willing to prioritize that over then some worthless assignment. Because I'm telling you right now, as a person who scored so many A's throughout my life, not one bit I have grown closer to my success. It's all from YouTube, TikTok, and other social media influencing 
platforms that I've been doing. I'm not telling you to ditch or drop out of school to achieve your dreams because again, not everyone knows what they want to do yet. So maybe school is probably helping you because hey, some people may not find school as toxic and if school is the path for you, great. I'm talking to the ones that know exactly what they want but they don't have a bit enough energy yet to be able to go for it because they're afraid to be stigmatized from friends or family or feel like it's the wrong thing to do. Well, let me tell you right now, who gives a flying fuck about what others think about your plan? You're not even supposed to tell other people your plan anyways because if people know your plan, they can easily and it's done. I made that mistake before and I learned from it. What you need to do is to plan far. And I hope your New Year's resolution is about planning far. And sure, it's good to have a specific plan, but you gotta be able to know then what. Because if you wanna say, I wanna have $2,000 by the end of 2022, okay, what's that $2,000 gonna do to you, hmm? Are you gonna spend that $2,000 in, in 2022 and then you'll be broke by 2023 and then say you want $2,000 again by 2023 to up to 2024? Hell no, that's just repeating a negative cycle. What are you gonna do with your goals? Sure, it can't just be specific. It has to be long-term plan by plan. That's why I say plan far. Like a second example is I wanna lose 30 pounds. Okay, well, great, 30 pounds, you got a number. But what are you gonna do after losing 30 pounds? Losing, okay, you're gonna ditch to the gym afterwards and then eat unhealthy again where you would need to lose another 30 pounds? You gotta find yourself the foundation of those goals. And this goes by planning far in your New Year's resolution, all right? So I'm not gonna disclose my New Year's resolution, but I'm telling you right now, in your New Year's resolution from 2021 to 2022, it not only has to be specific, but it has to be planned far. It has to have long-term effects one after another. And put some short-term goals in between so you have the motivation to keep on going, I feel. But again, I have to make this a disclaimer. I am not telling people to ditch or drop out of school in order to achieve their dreams. What I am saying is that at times you've got to be willing to sacrifice that one assignment, that one class, or that one business meeting, or for that one interview that could potentially change your life so you can make your dreams into a reality. Because hey, I've met a lot of, lot of big people all around social media, all across the world. They're in the same business that I am in. And a lot of them are a lot more motivated than the people at school that don't know what they're doing, that they just end up doing random facts and answering problems. They don't know the purpose, while when I hang out with other social media influencers, they know exactly what they want and they know exactly what they are doing day by day. Because why? They have a long-term goal set. Overall, if online school is a hindrance to your New Year's resolution to plan far, then maybe you gotta rearrange your priorities. And I think you know what I mean by rearranging priorities. Really take great care of yourselves, especially this year in 2021 with online school second semester. Promise me all my spiritual woke hustlers, take great care of yourself. It's okay to be a little selfish. If you don't love yourself, how can you help others? So be willing to treat yourself great. I'm not saying in the social media influencing realm, has bullshit drama like school does. But I'm saying when you surround yourself with hustlers like I, like me, I'm a hustler, I surround with other hustlers, I have less bullshit toxicity than as if I was in school. So I hope you all understand where I'm coming from. Please, please, please take this into heart. Happy New Year's. Take great care of yourself. Fight for your New Year's resolution. I hope it's well planned far. Stay beautiful and let's hustle happily.